everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers have discovered a way to reprogram diseased cells. UC San Diego School of Medicine researchers have created two peptides that affect G proteins, which are found on the surfaces of cells. G proteins are cellular communication hubs. They enable cells to sense what's happening around them and respond accordingly. One of the two new peptides is designed to activate G proteins, while the other is designed to turn them off. In experiments, the on peptides increased cells' responses to a scratch wound, suggesting they could be helpful in accelerating healing, while the off peptides were found to reduce the aggressiveness of both cancer cells and cells associated with liver fibrosis. These were only cell cultures and mouse models, so there's still work to be done here, but this is very exciting nonetheless. The paper on these promising peptides is published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Here's some more cell-related news. Scientists have proposed a new theory to explain the cellular origins of vertebrates. Molecular biologists at Northwestern University have published a new model for the evolution of neural crest cells, which are the cells that essentially make us vertebrates. It was the development of neural crests approximately 500 million years ago that led eventually to the evolution of skulls, jaws, more complex nervous systems, and other essential vertebrate characteristics. The new model proposes that neural crests are not cells which gained new capabilities, but rather cells which were not as restricted in their development as other types of cells. Understanding the origins and potential of neural crests could lead to breakthroughs in cancer research and regenerative medicine. This study is published currently in Science Express and will be published next month in the journal Science. Finally, new research may offer important insights into how we learn. Researchers at Caltech may have identified the part of the brain responsible for jumping to conclusions. Learning is usually a gradual process, but sometimes it can happen all at once. We witness a cause and its effect and we just immediately get it. This one-shot learning has been something of a mystery since scientists have been unable, until now perhaps, to work out why it occurs sometimes, but not others. The key factor, according to this research, is uncertainty. The more uncertain the brain is about the relationship of a given cause with a given effect, the more likely it is to associate them. Some of you may see the potential problem here. While this system enables us to learn things quickly, it also allows us to jump to incorrect conclusions. The authors of the study hope this work can lead not only to improved learning, but also a better understanding of psychiatric disorders and delusional thinking. The study is published in the journal Plus Biology. Scientists develop a method for resetting cells to fight disease and accelerate healing. Researchers propose a new origin theory for the cells that make us vertebrates, and researchers gain a new understanding of how we learn. That's the good news. Well, it is. You don't think so? Well, I think it is. I'm, well, I have to disagree. Any last words? I meant for the video, not permanently.